Good morning guys, it's Laurie from Passionate Penny Pincher and I am so excited. It is day 13 of the Countertop Cooking Challenge where every day for the entire month of February and into the next week, so the beginning of March, we are making dinner in our crock pots and our instant pots and today I'm doing something I haven't done before so I'm a little nervous but while we are live I am going to try making instant pot mashed potatoes. It is my husband's birthday today, so I thought um, he loves mashed potatoes, he loves like a really yummy dinner, and so I'm super excited because I've got lots of fun things to make today. So I'm gonna try the instant pot mashed potatoes, then we're gonna, um, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna just dump yesterday's freezer meal into the crock pot, so super simple. Then we are gonna make eclair cake, um, which is so easy. If you've not made this one before, it's so super simple, and that's his birthday cake. So um, as you guys are hopping on, I see some folks hopping on. Thanks for the hearts and likes. That helps me feel like somebody is out there. If you can tell me where you are from this morning, tell me what you're making. If you have any tips on how I should make these potatoes in the Instant Pot, I would love to tell you, hear them. There is a deal on the Instant Pot today, so we're gonna put a link to that deal over on Amazon. It's a fantastic price, so if you've been waiting on one, this would be a great day to do it. Good morning, Tiffany. Glad to see you. Hi, Debbie. So glad y'all are here this morning. Tell me what you're making today. Tell me if you've tried the Instant Pot. If you can share this, if you know someone who struggles with getting dinner done, y'all, I am loving this month because every day we are getting dinner done. Um, I'm having dinner. I hope you're having dinner. I hope you're on the other side of the screen getting dinner. Good morning, and I am a little bit late this morning. I actually have a sick kid over here on the couch who's sitting here. We were up all night with not a fun bug, so that's why I'm a little late today. Okay, hello, Natasha. Okay, we are gonna hop on, and I'm gonna show you first how to do the Instant Pot potatoes. So we're gonna start with those. Um, if y'all, I have never done this before, but I'm assuming it's gonna work. And actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make them and then I'm gonna um, keep them in the slow cooker today. Can y'all see that? Okay, I'm gonna make them while we're live. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do so that then we can scoot down and hopefully we'll actually see if it works um, at the end. So I've not done this, but it's gonna work. I have great faith in this Instant Pot. It is on sale today at Amazon, which is a great deal. Um, and all of the menu plans that we're using, you can click the link above and you can grab the menu plans too. But we're gonna start with the Instant Pot. Okay, so we're gonna put in, I've got about six or seven potatoes that I've just cut up, okay? And I'm putting them in the Instant Pot. Can y'all see that? Okay, so I'm gonna put them in. I do have my steamer tray in there. I guess I should put it down like that. Okay. I have to confess, I do not use, I use my Instant Pot mostly to steam vegetables. I haven't done a whole lot of other things in it. So that's why I'm excited to try this. Now I'm gonna add in about a cup of water and a half a cup of chicken broth. And we'll see if this works. My plan is then to go ahead and mash the potatoes this morning and then I'm gonna set them on the warm setting and let them sit in the crock pot all day. I'm gonna add some sour cream and chives and things to them. I'll do that later, but that way you can kind of see. Okay, so we've got these in the Instant Pot. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna push, let's see if I can do this, it said to push Manual in eight minutes. So I'm thinking, y'all, this is horrible. I use this so little. Okay, so there's eight. So I guess that's it. Let's see what happens. And I may know I'm supposed to have it to ceiling. I'm hoping it's gonna start working. I think it's working. Y'all have any tips? Oh, there it goes. Okay, there it goes. So there is this, so here's the potatoes. We will check back in eight minutes and see what happens. Let's scoot those over there. Then, remember yesterday I did freezer cooking? Guys, I cannot tell you, last night when my little girl was sick all night and I knew that I wasn't gonna be up for doing everything this morning, I was so excited that I already had dinner done. I kinda felt like God made me just kind of watch out for us on that. So yesterday, remember, I did freezer cooking meals. Um, you could, I was thinking, if you're a busy mom, you could easily make these at the beginning of the week and just keep them in your fridge throughout the week and then pop them in the crock pot on the morning you wanna do. So this is our slow cooker chicken and gravy that you would serve over rice. I'm actually gonna serve it with mashed potatoes. Everything's in here already. All of the recipes and menu plans for this are at the link above. Um, if you use the code countertop at check checkout, you can get them for as little as $1.20 per week. I am so excited about freezer cooking. I have never done this before, so I'm super excited that this morning I don't have to do anything other than put dinner in, y'all. Like, this is it. So I did defrost this. I pulled it out of my freezer this morning. I defrosted it a wee bit, just probably for a couple minutes. Now I'm gonna dump it in. Um, in this is really just, I'm trying to remember what the ingredients are, but you can get the link, all of these recipes over there. Okay, so then we pop that in. I'm gonna put my lid on. Set it to low for seven to eight hours. Y'all, look at that. 
Dinner? Yeah, my dinner is done. Do y'all see this? So I'm gonna have my mashed potatoes. I'll have this, and then I'm actually gonna steam um, carrots in this, because my husband loves steamed carrots with a little bit of maple syrup, and so I'm gonna do those in the Instant Pot tonight for our vegetable. Um, so yeah, dinner's done there. So while we're waiting for this to go, I thought I'd show y'all how to make, okay, so here's this. How many of you guys are joining us for the Countertop Cooking Challenge? I'd love to hear if you're joining us. Tell me if you've enjoyed it. I have heard so many people say they are saving a ton of money. I'm gonna leave this here so you can look, see. And then I'm gonna scoot this over so y'all can watch. Uh, let me see if I can get my camera down here. Oh goodness, I'm gonna have to move my, camera, my stuff over here, guys. Hang on just a second, be patient. Okay, so now we're gonna make the eclair cake, which I have to tell you, if you are not cooking at home, you are just spending too much money. I'm just saying. This morning I went in to grab all the ingredients for his cake. And if I had bought one cupcake at Gigi's Cupcakes for his birthday, it would have cost me more than this entire thing cost. So to make this entire thing cost $5. So I am pretty excited about this one. Here's the rest. Okay, so what you're going to do is you need some graham crackers, three cups of milk, two packages of instant vanilla pudding, and an eight ounce thing of whipped topping. That's all you need, okay? It's gonna cost you $5 to make this yummy dessert instead of one cupcake over at Gigi's. Okay, so we're gonna come over here and I'm gonna mix together the instant pudding. So we've got the three cups of instant pudding. If y'all have not made this, this is one of my favorites. In fact, my son actually said, mom, will you make that for dad's birthday? So my poor husband didn't even get to pick his birthday. Pitiful. Someone said, you wish I'd post a picture, Julie, of how it looks. Um, the clear cake I already have, I will try to get some pictures in for sure so you can see them because I know that does help a lot if you can see the pictures. So I'm just going to mix this up. I'm trying to get this so y'all can see this and not so much of me. There we go. Oh, much better. Oh, and you can see my Diet Pepsi. This is proof that I was up all night with a not healthy child. Bless her heart. She is pitiful. Okay, so we're mixing this. I hear the Instant Pot starting to go over here, so I'm so excited, guys. If you have not tried these menu plans, I feel like when you take care of getting your family done, of getting dinner done, it's like you take care, everything just gets easier in your life. Okay, so I've mixed this together. Can y'all see everything here? Then we're gonna add in an eight ounce tub of Cool Whip. Oh, there we go. We're going to mix that in. I did um, thaw it out a little bit, probably not long enough, but hopefully hopefully this, this work recipe is so forgiving. You really can't mess it up. Okay, so there is all that, okay? So simple. You are getting every dime I spent on the necklace. Oh, Gail, yes, y'all know I love, this is my... Um, this is my mag, we call this the magic necklace. Whatever outfit you have on, it makes everything right. So I get more comments about this necklace than anything else and I wear it at least once a week. Y'all know it is one of my favorites. Okay, so I am gonna real fast wash my hands before putting the graham crackers in. I've been washing my hands like every seven seconds since we've had sick kids this week, which is not fun. I am, someone told me that if you drink grape juice, It'll help everyone else stay well. So we brought grape juice. My friend saw me at the grocery store and I was like, I'm gonna try that. Okay, so you're gonna take, can y'all see this? You're gonna take your graham crackers and you're gonna lay them out on the bottom. Okay, how easy is that? Then you're gonna layer about a half of this on top. Perfect. So we're gonna layer that. Okay. Can y'all see this okay? I hope y'all can see this pretty well. Next we're gonna add on another layer of graham crackers. I'm hoping you guys can see that. Can y'all see? Okay. Trying to read these comments. I will look at the comments as soon as we're done. I'm super excited. The Instant Pot is cooking over here, so if y'all will hang out with us, we'll see if the Instant Pot did the mashed potatoes like I'm hoping it'll do. Okay, we're gonna add in this. 
Then we're going to, hang on, we're gonna add the rest of this on top. And guys, this does not look all that impressive, but I promise it tastes just like a chocolate eclair. It is so good. It's relatively healthy. You can certainly make it healthier. You can use sugar-free um, instant pudding. You can use fat-free Cool Whip. The frosting is not good for you. I can't fix that. Um, it's my husband's birthday, though. As some of you know, he's had kind of a crazy year, and um, I'm super happy that he's here, and it's going to be a fun day, and I wanted to give him something little fun. He's done so well, eating super well, and taking care of himself, that I don't think one meal is going to hurt him at all. So, Okay, can y'all see this? Thank y'all for sharing. I just saw some folks are sharing. Thank you so much for sharing the video. That makes it so much more worth my time, and I hope, not really worth my time, but it makes it so much more worth, just easier to do. So yeah, I appreciate y'all sharing that. Okay, so there's that. Someone said, could you use regular whipped cream? Yes, Jody, I have used regular whipped cream in the past. Um, it's a little harder to work with, but it definitely will work. Okay, so there's our, there's that. I'm going to melt this just a little bit more. So you need to have your frosting a little bit softened. I'm going to try to read through those comments. Um, but yes, you can absolutely do that. And you probably actually, I could have used another layer of probably a few more graham crackers, but um, they're a little bit heavier, so I'm trying to keep it a little on the lighter side. Hopefully this is going to pop out. Thank y'all so much. It's about to be, this one, there is, I know my friend Hannah has put the link in there. Um, thank y'all so much, Michelle, and everyone else who's sharing the video. I really appreciate that, this one. Okay, so now what we're going to do is this is kind of, y'all see how this frosting was on sale at Kroger this morning. It's nice and kind of like softened. So we're just going to kind of spread that over top. Ooh, I didn't mean to get it that, quite that soft, but that does make it easy. And then I'm going to pop this in the fridge, and I'll let it refrigerate all day. Y'all, this is the yummiest and easiest dessert ever. This is probably a little more melted than I really wanted it to be, but um, once it goes in the fridge, it's going to thicken up a bit, so it's going to be fine. So simple. Like, so simple. And like I said, my 16-year-old last year, this was his birthday cake, and he said... His birthday isn't for a few weeks, and so he said, Mom, can you make this for Dad's birthday? So there you go. My poor husband, he'll suffer. He doesn't mind. And we've had, as many of y'all know, we had another birthday earlier this week, so this has been like birthday week at our house. Okay, so there, that is done. Okay, and it looks like my poor lid is dirty, so I'm going to wash that <laughs> before I put it on top. Um, I'm going to stick this in the fridge real fast because I don't want it to melt while we're waiting for the potatoes. Okay, so there we go. So now let's come over here and we're going to see. I've got the potatoes on. I'm going to show y'all. Remember, this is my dinner, which I'm so excited about. So here's my crock pot dinner. Super excited. We're going to have the mashed potatoes, assuming they work. Let's look and see how long it just says on. So y'all, I'm just being really patient that this is going to click on us. Can some of y'all tell me? I'll answer your questions while we're waiting to hear it click. I think it should click any minute, I'm hoping. I'm not... I wish I'd probably turn it on a little ahead of time. Let me answer those questions. Um, if you have not tried the menu plans from Eat at Home, I cannot recommend them highly enough. And um, they are, you, as low as $1.21 per week, you will save a ton of money on your grocery bill. I spend about um, $70 to $90 each week on my groceries for our family of five. So it's been a really good um, investment for our family. We get dinner done every night. It's been really, really nice. Jessica, you asked if this would say it will say on until it reaches pressure, Tiffany. Okay, so you think it's, it says on right now. So if it says eight minutes, I guess it's not really eight minutes. I thought it would just be eight minutes. <laughs> I'm hoping it'll be on shortly because I know y'all don't want to sit here and just watch me chat, but we're going to be patient and hope that this clicks off. I don't know. If it doesn't, then I'll hop off and I'll let you guys do something else. I didn't let the pressure out because it hasn't said it's gone to pressure yet. It feels good and hot. Y'all, we're going to be sitting here. I guess a washed pot never boils, right? Um... Marlene's, you said, what's for dinner? You subscribe and love the meals. I am so glad you love the meals. It always takes a little bit more. It's not eight minutes. Oh, Tiffany, it's not eight minutes. So at pressure, then eight minutes. Oh, no. So is it going to be like, so maybe it's going to be longer. Okay, well, we'll talk about the Instant Pot deal, and we'll see how close we are to this. Um, and then, yeah, we'll see if it works. If it doesn't work, I'll put a picture up to see 
How long have we been on this morning? I don't know how long we've been live, so we can see how long it takes. Anyways, we'll see if it works. Um, I did want to tell you there's a deal on the Instant Pot today. Amazon has this crazy deal today where like you get, I think, nine or ten dollars off everybody, um, off everything, anything fifty dollars or more. And so it works on the Instant Pot. Oh, Tiffany, you think it's gonna be twenty minutes? Do you really think it's gonna be 20 minutes? Oh, I don't know if I have the patience to be on that long, and I don't wanna make, I can feel it steaming, but I don't know if I can stand being on here for 20 minutes. I don't know that y'all wanna sit here. Um, anyways, the deal on the Instant Pot, sorry. Deal on the Instant Pot today, there's a link that we put in there, um, and it definitely, I hear it, I hear it like going, it's coming, <laughs> but it's not doing anything. Um, the deal on the Instant Pot today, sorry is uh, over at Amazon, they are giving $10 off a $50 purchase. If you use the code, and I'm not sure what the code is, but we've got the link above, below in the comments. Um, and yes, it will. it's a great deal. It's on anything, but you can use it on Instant Pot, so you can get the Instant Pot, the brand new one, for a great price. I've heard great things about the Instant Pot, too. I typically use my Instant Pot for, um, mostly just for um, steaming vegetables. Is what I use it for. I don't cook a whole lot of meat in it yet, so, um, yeah, I don't know how that's going to go. So we're going to sit here and wait. I did want to tell you one other thing that I was actually going to talk to you guys tomorrow about, but I guess while we're sitting here waiting, I will tell you this bit. This is why I feel like this is so valuable. If I can get some hearts and likes on this, I would really appreciate it. Um, this is why I feel like cooking dinner every day is so important. I don't share this very often, but I grew up in a home where my mom, I was had a single mom, and I don't talk about this a whole lot. She was a really good mom, but she had four kids, and she worked 50 or 60 hours a week because she had four kids, and so she needed money just to kind of survive. And so I did not, we ate out dinner. I, this is the truth, guys. We ate dinner out every single night. Like we ate dinner every single night. I ate at McDonald's seven nights a week. Like I'm not even kidding. We would drive to the main store in town. We would stop by every single restaurant and she, because we were all picky and she didn't really have a whole lot of extra energy to deal with that because she was so busy working. We would stop at Arby's and McDonald's and Wendy's and every place. I know y'all are shocked. Anyways, so that's what we did every single night. Um, and she was a good mom. She just didn't have the resources that we have now. It was really, really hard. So when I went to college, I weighed 225 pounds. Um, eating dinner out is not healthy for your family. It is not a great thing. I have worked and fought that weight for the last forever like I've waited it I've fought the wait forever it's hard so if I can encourage just one person to get dinner done like if I can make this matter to you guys and if I can encourage you just to get dinner done and on the table each night to me I feel like that's like my biggest calling ever like it um, is what is what I'm so why I'm so passionate so when I started Publix Penny Pincher years ago people just didn't you know I don't think people think about it and how much it's not like we're just getting dinner on the table some people it is hard to do that and if you're a working mom Guys, I don't know how, I work from home, so I can make this stuff and it's easier for me. I get to talk to you guys on live, um, but it is so important to me that you guys get dinner done because I feel like it totally changes the whole dynamics of your family. It's such a small thing and I love that Tiffany makes it so easy with the eating home menu plans. All we have to do is just, it's so super simple. So anyway, so when you said I'm making you emotional, I don't mean making you emotional, no crying or anything. I was thinking about it yesterday as I was thinking about today's thing and I thought, um, how do I just tell people there is so much value in this? And I don't share that part of my story. It was a very different world than I lived in, than I live in now. And so I'm so thankful for the family I have. Um, but like folks who like you guys who are working moms, it is so important. If you can take this over, I feel like it is just going to totally change your whole family's future. And the other thing I feel like is, you know, 30 years ago when I was growing up, my mom didn't have Pinterest. People weren't making this kind of stuff. So I remember going to my friend Leah's house and her house always smelled like home. Like they, her mom cooked in the crock pot every single day. I hated the food she made. I wouldn't eat it because I didn't eat anything green. Um, I didn't eat vegetables. I didn't eat anything <laughs> except Big Macs. That's kind of what I lived on. And so, um, oh, shoot, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah. Okay. It's still good, I think. We're good. Phew. Um, so I... So I didn't eat anything. So when I would go to her house, it always, she would try to get me to eat the healthy stuff and I just didn't. So someone asked why, um, how I lost that weight. I pretty much stopped eating at McDonald's in those places and it helped a ton. So I feel like for those of you who are working moms, I just encourage you and even no matter whether you're a mo working mom or not, it is hard to get dinner on the table. Even if you stay at home, it is hard 
to kind of decide that this is something that matters. But I feel like when you take this over, it is so worth it. Um, so anyways, I hope that helps. I'm really hoping this is, oh, we're just now at eight minutes. Y'all, I can talk for a long time, but I can't talk for eight more minutes. Y'all don't wanna sit here and listen to me. I will answer your questions real fast about menu planning. Um, but I just so encourage you as moms, this is such an important part of um, what we do every day. And so I feel like if you can get this aspect of your life together, it's so worth it. Um, Stacey, I am so glad you, yeah, it, it's just gonna help take over everything else. So I was really hoping this wouldn't take this long for the Instant Pot to get ready. It is not gonna be ready, guys. There is no way. I'll answer questions real fast. I will show you the menu plan um, for anyone who has not seen it. Someone made the comment that my kitchen is clean. My kitchen is not really that clean. Um, if you saw what's in front of this, it doesn't look that awesome. The graham crackers, someone asked about the graham crackers. Yes, so um, in the UK, I don't know what you use for graham crackers. Do they not have, do they have like a substitute? I'm not quite sure. Um, okay, these are the menu plans. Do y'all see my hot mess? This is from freezer cooking day yesterday. But this is what the menu plans look like. They include um, tons of free, they include all of your, everything you're gonna need, all of your grocery lists, you can make recipes for the slow cooker, whole foods option, traditional menu plan. Julie, you asked which um, recipe I'm making to make today. I am making the slow cooker chicken with gravy. So um, it's super, it's gonna be super yummy. Somebody asked what the ingredients are in the graham cracker. I will tell you, it is you what you need for that. I'll go over that recipe real fast. I'm really hoping, really, seven minutes. I don't think I can sit here and talk for seven more minutes, but I'll tell you the recipe. I'll see how far we can go. Um, okay, so the eclair cake is two packages of instant pudding, an eight ounce package of whipped topping, three cups of milk, graham crackers, and chocolate frosting. So all you're gonna do is mix together the instant pudding, the eight ounces whipped topping, the three cups of milk, mix them all together, layer your graham crackers, layer half of the cream mixture, layer the graham crackers, layer the cream mixture, layer the graham crackers, add some chocolate frosting. And the recipe is there at the um, thing above. So yeah, hopefully that helps. Oh, someone said ginger biscuits in the UK. So, okay, yeah, if you find ginger biscuits, that'll count as graham crackers. Hope that helps. Um, Gail, thanks, I appreciate that y'all let me um, talk about my crazy kind of story of how I got here. Um, can you talk about you skipped ahead and made that dinner last week. So I, I would love to hear, I can't wait to taste it. I know it's gonna be yummy. So guys, this poor thing is not gonna cook fast enough. We've still got six minutes. Um, I don't know what else I can talk about for six more minutes. I will tell you, download the recipes. What I'll do is as soon as the um, as soon as soon it does cook, I will take a picture and I'll put it in the comments. So I'll prove to you that it really does work, if it really works. I should have gone ahead and set that ahead of time, but I didn't know, so I apologize for that. Um, I will be on tomorrow morning. I will be putting something, whatever is next on my list in the crock pot, which I believe it is the, it's the maple apple pork in the slow cooker. So we'll be doing that tomorrow morning. If you are joining us, I highly encourage you guys, like I shared in just that little bit, if you struggle with menu planning, if you're a busy mom, if you don't have time to cook, if it is too much and you are overwhelmed, I promise you will change your family's future when you get control over this. And I'm not being really silly, um, but it will just make it so much easier if you can kind of take control of this area of your life. Everything else just kind of gets together. So hope you guys have the best morning. Um, Instant Pot has five minutes. I'll put a picture in five minutes. I apologize. And tomorrow maybe I'll try to do that. Um, Sandy, you asked if I do speaking engagements. I think people would be crazy if they had to listen to me for any longer than 10 minutes. Okay, hope you guys have the best. Min oh, Laurie asked when the March men menu plans come out. I hope they come out soon because we're gonna be there. I know they start on the first Monday of each month. So um, I would say that we're gonna probably, I'm guessing next week they'll be out, yeah. So um, anyways, thank y'all so much. Have the best day. Uh, Sarah, if you wanna find the menu plans, at the link above, click the word countertop, at, click the link above. So in the link on the video, it may not work till the video is over. Um, click that link and um, use the code uh, countertop at checkout, you will save 25%, which is the best price um, we've seen on them. So it's a great deal. Anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. Hope you have the best day and I will take a picture of my potatoes, which still have Four minutes. Yeah, I can't talk for four more minutes. Y'all have the best day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.